Welcome to hell, my friend. No, it's not what I expected when I first arrived either. But it's true. Hell is an office job. Doesn't seem too bad for hell, does it? Practically a dream job compared to the lakes of fire and all that. I mean, sure. It's not one of those hip offices with a funky feng shui and trendy colours and organic juice bars. It's not even a cubicle farm where at least you get a tiny scrap of privacy while you work. No, it's just an office with an open floor plan. Nothing but desks. Row upon row of grey metal desks beneath sickly fluorescent lighting. These people sitting at the desks are your new co-workers. You may hear the occasional cough or sniffle, but for the most part, we're all very quiet. Why? Because we're thinking, that's why. We're thinking very, very hard about the piece of blank paper on our desks. You've got one too. It's a standard 3x5 index card, with one red line at the top and 10 blue lines underneath. No fancy computers to work on here, just a plain, simple index card. But it's a very important index card. You get a new one every day, and if you write something on it, then you might get the evening off. What's so great about an evening off? Well, a day in hell may be like working in an office, but the nights are another thing entirely. At night, we could end up with fire ants poured in our ears, or dancing barefoot on broken glass. We've had our eyes lanced, our tongues shredded, and our intestines unwound. And those were the easy nights. Normally, it's much, much worse. And that's why these index cards are so important. Did you think devils and demons would be creative with their punishments? Try telling a bunch of humans that one of them will get the night off if they come up with the most inventive torture of the day. Demons can't even compete with our creativity. But hey, it's almost quitting time. We've got to drop our cards in the suggestion box before 5 o'clock deadline. I'd wish you luck, but that would really mean bad luck for me, wouldn't it? Oh wait, I see that look in your eyes. Thinking about getting everyone to band together? and write down easy tortures like runny noses and stub toes, right? We'll forget about it. No matter what you do, there will always be that one guy, you know? Usually more than one, but there will always be at least one stupid, selfish, or just plain evil asshole who ruins things for everyone else. If you don't believe me, then you don't know your fellow human very well. Or you never worked in an office. But I wouldn't worry about it. After tonight, I'm sure you'll fit right in.